Nice. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of travel to some places, Etihad has allowed pets to fly with their owners. Big news for pet parents, uh, particularly cats and dogs, can now accompany owners in the cabin with Etihad at an extra cost. Uh, so before you fly, as per with us humans, Uh, the parent, the pet's documentation must be in order, which is standard, um, before the beginning of the flight. And as with everywhere in Dubai, there will be height restrictions and weight restrictions on the animal. And when I say everywhere, I don't mean on humans. I mean for animals. <laughs> If you have quite a big dog, sometimes they can't get into places, oh. um, which is tricky. But uh, And of course, there are further travel conditions, um, according to the National. But uh, big news, if you're looking to travel anywhere with Etihad, Uh, to and from Dubai. Uh, this was actually um, an update on their website that's been there for a little while, but we're just kind of uh, talking you through it this morning. Um, this is huge. This is big. Huge news. I absolutely adore this. How, like, you, you can travel with your pets now. They're at ease. You're at ease. The world is at ease. If you're at ease, the stuff is at ease. Like, it's just, it works out for everyone involved. And I do think it just makes um, Dubai in terms of pet friendly is 50-50. Mm. Um, there's a, a lot of, uh, as a pet parent, there's, <laughs> I've never mentioned that before in the show. There is a lot of places that you can't bring your dog. But you I think. Dog? Yeah, I do. Oh, tell me more. <laughs> Why she's not on this Facebook feature, I do not know. I should have, usually I try like sneak her in <laughs> things on love and you'll spot her. She's goose from, is it Go- <laughs> goose has a couple of mentions on love and so goose um i've lost my train of thought totally uh, oh yeah so <laughs> the city is uh there's a, a lot of places that you can't bring your pets to but i do think that ethiad allowing this um not even opens up the conversation more but just kind of makes normalizes having animals i guess in closed confined spaces Um, of course, as owners, you need to be very responsible in this situation. Like, 100%. I can't imagine Goose is going to be very comfortable on a flight. Um, so I'm not sure if I would put her through that because yeah. she's just like that type of anxious temperament. Um, but for pet parents who uh, want to travel yeah. and they want, they don't want their doggo or kitty to be in the like the closed cabin. Yeah. Um, it's it's a great initiative by Ethia to open that up. It really is, but uh, I mean, <clears throat> I, I get your point of like her having uh, anxiety and she feeling nervous <laughs> when <laughs> traveling. But you know, like uh, obviously when people relocate, they don't have that option. And it's great, like, I, I mean, there is that height and weight restriction, but then those with smaller pets, smaller cats, smaller dogs, they would be more nervous leaving their pets in, in that, uh, just that separate area for, you know, like where uh, pets travel. that um, the storage area or something so because there are bigger dogs and bigger animals and they might just scare the smaller ones and a lot of times like the mm. aggressive temperament comes out and then the smaller ones get really scared and then sometimes they... the small ones scare the big ones yes very rarely no there's like small dog if you see it oh, it's like if you see little tiny dogs sometimes in the dog parks they are very loud and they're like they're like they'll make their presence no, it just depends on the dog it true True, true. Yeah, they like they bark and they bark and they're, they're like little like um, wind up dolls. They're going around like scaring everyone. And, <laughs> yeah, it oh totally God. depends on the temperament of each dog. I do think. Oh my God, I need to send you this one Instagram page I found of this one really aggressive Chihuahua called Nikki. Have anyone heard of Nikki? No. The Chihuahua. Oh my God. Oh my God. I, I need to share you. I share it with you today. Okay. On that note, <laughs> animals not aggressive. Great, great that we're opening up uh, more <laughs> avenues for animals to explore. We love animals. But moving on, to, oh, I just hope they make Expo dog friendly. 